Hello there, it's Sarah from Paper Lovely. Thanks for joining me today. So I decided I wanted to decorate some treat bags and I'm gonna use a lot of the embellishments that I created. And if you didn't check out my videos that I posted yesterday, you can see how all of those were made there. There I'm showing you my plate full of all those goodies. I'm also pulling out some ephemera. I've got some doilies. And then you saw me earlier there cutting out some circles. I believe that was either a three or a three and a half inch circle from my Sizzix die set. I'm gonna use that for some toppers uh, on the top of the bags. Here I've grabbed, this is from one of the older Pebble collections. I think this one was called Trick or Treat. And I'm just gonna trim those out just to get myself a lot of things ready and sort of sitting that I can pull from to work to put together the decorations on my bags. So for my first bag, I'm going to use this orange and black striped one. I picked this up last year at the Target dollar spot and it's the only one I have left so I figured I would start with this one first. I'm going to use one of those American Crafts spiderweb doilies. They seem to sort of be my go-to this year. I'm really in love with those. Um, and I'm going to place that at the bottom there. Here I've grabbed my Tim Holtz Tiny Talk stickers. I'm going to add a few phrases up at the top there. And then here I've grabbed my um, art glitter glue. I'm just going to trace that behind the web. I'm going over pretty much everything because I'm going to take this, place it down, and then I will wrap that around the side and the bottom of the bag. So you see that in just a second here. I open that up and then just slowly place that down. And then the since this is a circle, it will the edges will meet at the corner. So you'll see I just um, press those together and then trim that off with my scissors. And then since this is the only bag I have with sort of um, shopping handles, I wanted to see about maybe dangling a tag down from the top. Oh, here I'm gonna, I peeled off the backing. I had a removable glue dot on the back of that spider. Um, so I just placed him down. And here I'm moving down those phrases. I originally thought I might um, put, use my crop dial and just hang that tag from the top of that handle there, but there just wasn't enough room to add the hole for the ribbon. So what I ended up doing here was just tying the ribbon around the one side of that handle. And then I did look over in my uh, goodies that I had created the other day and I had this flag. So I'm going to just feed that paper clip onto one edge of the ribbon and then tie that back down. Uh, and that ribbon is, I think it's called Pure Plum. It came in one of my old um, Stampin' Up! monthly kits that I uh, used to get the paper pumpkin. Again, grabbing one of those spider doilies. I just love them. And using one of those circles that I cut out. There I was showing you the size. I think it was three and a half inches. Um, so I folded down one of my paper bags. I'm just going to crease that around it. And then because I didn't want to put staples through there, I was trying to decide how I was going to add that on the top without gluing it. That way it could be reused if I wanted to. Um, so here I've pulled out this Got Candy Ephemera and I had a spider clip. I tried that and then I ended up going with one of the uh, bobby pin clips that I created. So just stuck that down on top and that's going to hold it perfectly. Again, I'm going to add another little sentiment at the bottom there. Here I'm grabbing some stash of candy and I'm going to fill that up. I'll place that back down and add my bobby pin to keep it closed. Now I ended up making three of these bags that had candy and a few other goodies in them. Um, so I decided I'm going to go ahead and have that be a little bit of a hidden giveaway here. Uh, if you live in the U.S., I will give away one of each of these bags to the first three people who comment on the video. So if you would like one of these bags, leave me a comment below. And then if you can see that you are 
are one of the first three to comment, go ahead and shoot me an email. My email is listed in the description box below. Um, and then I can go ahead and get this mailed out to you right away. I'd like to get them to everybody by Halloween. So I think it was pretty straightforward what I did with that last bag. I just folded it over, tied it up with some string, and then added one of those rosettes that I created in the center. Here for this one, I'm working on a sort of little mini bag, and I grabbed a white doily. Um, this skull portrait is from a Pebbles collection. I, it may be trick or treat, I'm not positive. Um, I'm just gonna glue down that doily, and then again, I will flip that over. I'm gonna wrap around the edges and just glue those down. And then I'll place that portrait on top. I wanted to give that guy a little bit of dimension. So, um, uh, just fixing a few of the edges there. <laughs> Next, I thought I might want to add a bow and then I decided against that once I had it down. So I put that on and then I take it back off again. And then I grabbed my Nouveau glitter pen and added a little bit of glitter over that skull. And now finally I decided I wanted to add some dimension so I grabbed one of the little teeny tiny bows that I had created this was an extra one I had left over that didn't fit in the packaging that I put together so I just took the back off of that so it looked a little bit more like a bow tie instead of a bow and I'm gluing that down on top of the portrait there I'm going to do another one of these uh, fold over tops for this next bag. Again, taking that spider web and adding it onto one of the circles that I created. I'll go ahead and fold that over. And then I'm going to use one of the little rosette paper clips that I put together, or um, bobby pins that I had put together. I grabbed that trick-or-treat banner and then I wanted to have that stand out just a little bit more so I grabbed some of my glitter paper this is a really pretty light purple color added some score tape to the back of that I'm gonna go ahead then and place that down and then I will just trim around that to have a little bit of a border Once again, I'm going to grab one of those small talk stickers. And since this one has the candy behind the spider web pattern paper, I thought I would add a few of those sprinkles there as well. I'll go ahead and fill that up with my candy and then put the topper back on top. Here's another one of those smaller bags. I played around with this one for a little while. Um, I'm kind of wishing I had left the gold doily now that I'm looking at it. It's funny, sometimes when I go back through, I wonder why I made the decisions that I made because it, it looks good from far away, I guess, because I was too close to it. Um, and the gold didn't match perfectly. That's, that's why I ended up taking it away. Um, but I am happy with how it turned out. So I grabbed one of those cut aparts and two of the tiny talk stickers so I'm gonna glue that down and then that rosette that I made I'm just gonna peel off I again I have a removable uh, sticky dot there so I'll just peel away the backing and then place that down on top So for this last smaller bag, I decided I wanted to create sort of a, a mummy bag. And I've seen some other cards made this way, um, but never a bag. And I've never tried it myself, so I thought I would give it a shot. 
I'm using an old ship slip here and my Fiskars paper tear edger and this is the um, deckle edge and I'm just taking about a half an inch I'm not measuring perfectly I wanted them to be slightly different and just um, trimming that down and then I took my uh, black soot distress oxide ink and I'm gonna color just the front part of this bag uh, that dark gray color I did off camera heat set that bag um, otherwise it would have taken forever to dry <laughs> and then I'm taking all of these strips and the reason I chose these is because this paper is kind of old and it has some really nice yellowing around the edges which I thought would be great to create the mummy so I'm taking these strips and I'm just gonna place them down I'm kind of uh, doing that strategically so that I'll leave a few openings that I can stick some of those uh, googly eye stickers in And then once I had all those placed down, I did go ahead and uh, take the edges, just roll those over to the back of the bag. Those little smaller pieces that didn't have any tape left, I'll just stick down with a little bit of my liquid glue. And I purposely left that rough edge along the bottom, just peeking out a little bit. And then I'll take uh, these monster eyeballs and just have those peeking out from the dark behind the bandages. Finally, I finished that off and I went with the sentiment, uh, you're my favorite monster, and stuck that along the bottom there. Here are a few close-ups of the finished goodie bags. In the description box below, you'll find my blog post, which has additional photos and links to the supplies that I used. If you enjoyed the video, please leave me a comment or a thumbs up and subscribe for more. Thanks again for watching and I'll see you in the next video.